What's up, guys? It's the only ninja wearing aviator and another superhero hat bringing you another episode of What is Martial Arts here on the Modern Ninja YouTube channel. This time, we are going to take a look at XMA. What is arguably one of the newest martial arts styles in existence. XMA, or Extreme Martial Arts, is in my opinion one of the most visually impressive styles to date. However, it is not noted as being the most effective style out there. Originally a brand name owned by the former Lightspeed Rescue Blue Ranger. Yeah, I'm serious. Owned by, originally, a Blue Ranger. This style has spread like wildfire across the United States. This style incorporates a combination of martial arts, acrobatics, and gymnastics with an emphasis on showmanship. Many of you may not know that the combination of martial arts and gymnastics is known as tricking. Don't worry, that will require a whole different video in and of itself. However, XMA puts the focus on sport and competition and brings in the usage of weapons. The goal of this sport being to command the attention of the audience. This is an example of history in the making. The style is largely based in the United States with Australia, Canada, New Zealand, and the United Kingdom all joining in on the fun. But the world headquarters is currently located in North Hollywood, California. This style is being pushed all around the world and continuing to gain speed as time moves on. But the one of the head organizations leading the charge is Hyper MA being one of the biggest driving forces and making this style more mainstream in social media. This style lacks the traditions and etiquette that most other styles uh, focus on. Many schools don't require a uniform, just a student willing to learn. There is no limit to this style outside the creativity of the user. Due to this style often being largely unrecorded, there are oftentimes no specific belt levels or ranks. Skill is generally based entirely on experience and dedication and creativity. Due to the lack of basics and a foundation, many practitioners receive their black belts in other styles of martial arts. Many times Taekwondo being the go-to for most of the, product, pro, uh, of the practitioners. Weapons are also welcome for all practitioners, practitioners. However, most schools require you to be a certain rank in a style of Taekwondo or another style of martial arts in order to do the more dangerous weapons such as swords or commas or size. I spend a lot of my time doing this style. Uh, it is fun, it is enjoyable for me, and I love doing stage fights and I love doing stage performances, so that helps in that uh, aspect. But there are many other notable practitioners out there as well. Starting off with a personal friend, mentor, and teacher, Michael Felix. Jackson Rudolph. Reed Presley. We have Mackenzie Emery. Tyler Weaver. And Sammy Smith. Oh, mate, that's sick. <laughs> Yeah. 
all great examples of martial artists that have chosen to focus on XMA. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to learn more about XMA, feel free to ask me whatever questions you have down in the comments. Uh, like I said, this is a very new style, so there's not a ton of history on it yet. But I hopefully in time, I will be a part of making that history and a lot of you guys watching this video can be a part of making that history as well. So with all that said, if you want to see a certain style come out next, let me know down in the comments below. But until next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell if you want to see my next upload. But my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.